I also believe over time that the UK will find a way of making sure that they participate in entities. We know that there is no appetite for them to diminish funding to those intergovernmental organizations that operate both within the EU and beyond. So CERN in particle physics, in molecular biology, we've got EMBO, we've got nuclear fission, we've got ITER, and you've got the space agency. You've got all of these that are all funded, not by the EU budget exclusively, but by the governments of the member states and others who fund these organizations. So why can't we use this model, if necessary, to actually expand, for example, for the European Medicines Evaluation Agency. Can't the EMEA become a much broader agency that serves not just the EU, but the whole of Europe, and maybe our neighbors in terms of drug evaluation? Wouldn't that make sense for everybody in terms of the patients having access to drugs more quickly and cheaper, potentially, if you actually accept that there is one bigger regulator for a bigger region. I'm actually more about finding solutions at the moment because the UK is not going to rerun a referendum. So we have to find a solution. And I know the Swiss are working very hard to find a solution, but I think we need to start thinking much bigger and much broader about the competitiveness of Europe as a region as a whole, not just the EU. And we need to actually look much more broadly at how we might spend the money collectively much better.